How's it going everyone? Nathan, that is MRE. Today we have a very special ration. This particular ration is a civilian ration from Japan. As you can tell by the title, I'm sure. This was sent in to us by a viewer slash a ration seller slash an eBay seller. And he sent a little pamphlet with it. And no, I'm sure that's not him in the picture. Come on. Um, but... He wrote a letter here, and it says, I watched your Japanese MRE review SDF Battle Ration Type 2 on YouTube. Now I'm selling this ration on eBay. It says, from Japan, SDF Ration Battle Eating Type 2 Jumbo Sausage Curry. So he has his links. I'll put the links down below with item numbers and stuff. You could, you know, whatever. There it is. So it says, the ration in this packet is of another type, so a different menu. I'm selling this item too. He has the links for that. If you're interested in this item, please send me an email. My email address is 9ESHIRAE. He may not want me putting this on there. Anyway, that's his email address. I'm going to contact him directly. Um, a military shop owner. A little misspell there, but that's cool. In the United States, purchased 45 items last month. Yours sincerely, Satoshi Nakata. All right. Well, thank you very much, sir or ma'am, for sending this. I'm not really sure. I don't want to don't want to say the wrong thing on that. But we greatly appreciate you sending this in. Um, Art and Nina, I'm sure, will check that those links out. I'll put links in the description for this ration. This was a big purchase. I mean, it's a big send for him. The shipping from Japan is not cheap. Um, of course, I don't know what he buys these for. I think they sell for, on average, around $35. Uh, is what I paid for the last one. So without any further ado, let's go and open it up and see what's inside. And I did, like I said, I did do the type two of this before. And this one I translated and it comes out to be chicken and vegetables. So we have a few things. So this one does not come with a ration heater, I guess. Huh. Well, I don't know. We'll have to figure that out. So we have chicken and vegetables. You can fill chunks of chicken in it. Yeah, <laughs> make sure you had the right damn way. Let's hit it with a translator real quick, just to give her a little showing here. Yeah, so chicken. I don't know, earlier I seen, yeah, chicken and vegetables you can see in fine print. And uh, it should be very interesting, to be honest. And then they have like a little package of rice too. So let me figure out how to heat this mess up and we'll see what it's all about. Okay, so we got her heated up, put her in the kettle. I don't think it's gonna fit, but it did. And if you have an electric kettle, that is the easiest way to heat these packages up because it basically boils in just a minute or so. The rice was a little bit of a tight fit in the old kettle, but we got her done. Trip the water in my pants, looks like I pissed myself. It's all right, if anybody asked, we'll just tell them we did. All right, so we're all done, we're all heated up. Yeah, I wasn't gonna put it on the tray. We might have to do that though. After evaluating it, I think we're gonna have to use an actual bowl. It's too much to fit in there. The rice is hot, but maybe not hot enough. I really don't know. Well, I mean, it's hot enough, right? Before we go, up. before we go at all that extreme, let's get our wooden spoon. That is actually a legit wooden spoon. And it's splintery too. <laughs> it's actually splintery on the end. Have to be uh, careful eating on that one. Yeah, the rice, a lot of these sometimes are not very dry. This one's pretty dry. But we have the packet of stuff to put over top of it. So it's not that big of a deal. Good lord, making a mess. I'm trying to break it out of here. It's going on the floor. There's a huge amount of rice. I mean, good lord. So, basically these rations, they're used for military drills. They're used for all kinds of emergency use stuff. They're used for 
uh, storage for, you know, I guess hurricane, fire, earthquake, you know, that type of thing. And they've always been very good in the past. It says tear notches on it. We'll go ahead and slice her open. Chicken and vegetables. It looks pretty good, man. It smells. What does that smell? I think carrots, maybe? I'll go and dump her over the top of here. Looks like it has some soy sauce in it. Yeah, it's almost like a, a soy sauce chicken kind of situation going on there. <clears throat> Throw it off to the side. So we have like some whole chunks of looks to be dark meat chicken. I'm not sure what some of this stuff is. It has some little... If I could even get it on the on the spoon. It's like maybe a... Is that a mushroom? What is that? That is a mushroom. Look at that. See a little cap on the mushroom? Isn't that cool? Let's try that. Whoa, if I don't drop it first. Hmm. That's actually very, very good. It's very sweet, too. It's actually a very good dish. And it has some other, maybe like a, a tiny bit of kimchi in with it. I don't know, man. It's pretty decent, actually. Piece of this chicken here. It's like a very sweet, uh, like chicken soy flavor to it, like soy sauce. It's almost like a. I don't know. Actually, I wouldn't mind making that myself. Very delicious. We're getting into mushroom season here, um, here in the spring, well, the next week or two, and some nice dark meat chicken, cut up, maybe some rowels in it, you know, awesome. And it's so sweet too. There's so much sugar in it. I'm gonna eat some more of this. My mom's wanting to try this. She likes this kind of stuff a lot, so I'll be nice to say some for her. Thanks for watching, guys. What an awesome video. What a short video. Be back very soon. I think maybe with some Russian stuff. So we'll see you all very soon. Have a good day.